Okay. So, I mean, I sold some things, but it wasn't a banner week by any way, shape, or form. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I also own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques in Bedford, Indiana. This video is my what sold on eBay for the week of November 11th through 17th. And it wasn't a very good week. It wasn't a good week because I didn't work on it. That's why it wasn't a good week. I listed nothing new. I did, when I laid in bed at night, I did kind of end some old listings and relisted them, did a sell similar, but I listed nothing new. So it was not a good week. My sales were down by 20.4%, which isn't great. I spent all of my time and energy focusing on my antique store, getting it ready for Christmas. All of those videos I will link below in the description so you can watch them if you haven't already. It was a busy, crazy week and my only focus was getting the shop ready for Christmas. eBay was not in my brain. Uh, and when you don't put the work in, you don't get good results. And I mean, I made some sales, but my sales being down 20% really, is really kind of crappy. But let's go ahead and get into what sold for me this week on eBay. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started with the seller hub like we always do. You can see here my total sales for the week were $571.37. That is my gross sales and my sales were down 20.4%. As you can see, I think I went to, started going and, well, no, I worked at the shop all week, but boy, it went off okay, but then it just kind of fell off the, fell off the track, but that's all right. Like I said, we're going to stay positive. Let's go ahead and get on to see what sold. This was something that was featured in my Five Things Friday, and it was this vintage 1973 American flag Western electric corded rotary candlestick telephone. This cool, like... Americana, um, red, white, and blue with the stars and stripes. It was a modern phone. It, well, it was, it's vintage. I mean, it was 1973, but it was made to look kind of like an old style candlestick phone. Sold for $42.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next thing are the Sorel Flurry Boo Youth Boots, size 2. I picked these up at Goodwill for $4.50 like I pay for all the shoes that I buy at Goodwill. Uh, these were a youth size. They were a small size, but they were Sorel, so I knew that they were worth picking up. They sold for $34.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is... This this was another item that was featured in my Five Things Friday, and it's something that I had in the shop, and that was this vintage Kohler brass bubbler drinking fountain, sink mount top and side lever. This was brass, as you can see right here. Um, it has the side lever, it had the top lever. Um, it did have some pitting and some corrosion, and all that was noted in the listing. Uh, this sold for $28.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Yeah, as you can see, it says it's in good shape, but it has a bit of pitting and areas where the silver finish is coming off, exposing the brass underneath. The fountain is untested. So make sure that if you haven't been able to test something, that you do note that in the listing because you don't want the customer to get it and say, hey, it doesn't work. And you can go back and say, yeah, I know I, it wasn't tested. I know that it, I couldn't tell you if it worked because it wasn't tested. So it's just a way to safeguard yourself. These little girls, these were from my own personal collection. I collected these for a little while, and I, I'm, I'm trying to clean out some of my collections. This was this Avon. It's a small world collectible bottles from the 1970s. This was a lot of six. This one, most of these I picked up at thrift stores or yard sales. This little guy I picked up at Goodwill, um, he is the bird of peace that goes with these. But they're just fun little things that I had on my bathroom shelf. I love the color in them. I love the shape in them. And they are highly collectible. This is something that, as far as Avon bottle go, bottles go, these are the ones that are kind of kitschy enough that if you can, especially if you can lot them together, they are worth picking up when you can find them. Again, short and sweet. 
description in nice bright pictures so they can be seen well and this one right here came in her original box so that was kind of nice this next thing was a Robert Alewine pottery stoneware cup it doesn't have a handle it's like a pen holder uh, and I have these beautiful trees on them. This was something that I picked up at Goodwill. I want to say for like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. Pottery pieces. I'm always drawn to them. And you, can, if you looked at the bottom of these, you can see that it was artist signed. So anytime something is artist signed like that, make sure that you look it up on eBay sold, and it will give you an idea if it's a well known artist. And this artist is a well known artist. This item was made in 2000. It was signed by the artist and it sold for $32.78 and the buyer paid shipping. It was a very, very pretty, pretty piece with a beautiful glaze on it. No flaws. The next item is something that I've had for a little while, but I knew it wasn't going to sell till it was closer to Christmas. It is this Music Match Bluetooth National Tree Company light system. Basically, you hook this up to your Christmas tree and you can play music with and hook it up to your lights and use your Bluetooth to play music for your tree or your garland or whatever you, you're using to light up your holiday display. Uh, pick this up at Goodwill, I think for $2.99, and it sold for $25.60 and the buyer paid shipping. This next item, I'm still selling these Dr. Dennis Gross Glotions. I bought these in a lot at a yard sale. I bought a case of them, and I'm readily selling them anywhere between $10 and $16 a piece, depending on if I'm taking best offer or not. This one sold um, outright. I said this is the last one, but I do have a, a more. I need to just do a sell similar and get it listed. But this one sold for $16.50. I am trying a little bit of an experiment with shipping. My first class items I am putting as free shipping and just kind of see. Now, when you do that, you do need to adjust your price to make up for it. Um, I think I have these listed for like 12 something and I do have best offer. I tried an experiment with taking best offer off and I, I didn't like it. I, I know, I know that best offer can be annoying, but I like to be able to, I think that it gives your buyers an option. Sometimes they may just send you an offer for a couple dollars off and that's okay. And it just kind of opens up that line of communication um, with your buyers. Uh, so you can kind of negotiate and haggle. So these have readily been selling for me. So it was a good buy. I think I paid like $12, I think for the whole case of them so that was definitely a good buy and they're all sealed all of them are sealed at the, the cap here is sealed on them all right these are nike air force ones from 2007 the low men's size nine and a half varsity royal blue um and then this number right here is the number that's on the inside of the tag these i got at goodwill for four dollars and fifty cents we cleaned them up they're actually in pretty good condition and they didn't have any flaws on them. They're from 2007 and they are worn. Uh, and they sold for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this really cool vintage Purdue Boilermakers Football Pro Series long sleeve shirt. It's made by Taylor Sports. You can see here. It's vintage. You can tell by, this, by the tag that it's vintage. It was in great condition. And um, it sold for... $23.04. This next item is a Wallace Silver Salad Serving Fork and Spoon set with this cute little Santa and Christmas tree. I picked this up for at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for the set. Sold it for $22.50 and the buyer paid shipping. You can see it was silver plated, but it really, it's just like this festive little, little salad, salad set that's nice for your holiday dinner. This next item is Merrill Spire Stretch Dark Brown Leather Loafers. They were women's size 10. I picked these up for $4.50 at Goodwill. These do not appear that they really have ever been worn. They were in excellent condition. And they sold for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. This next item was something that I, I think I got the, a couple of belts at a yard sale. This was the second one that I, leather, vintage leather belt that I had that I sold. This one was kind of neat because it had these um, buffalo nickels on them. And it was this uh, black leather buffalo nickel concho silver belt, western belt. It's a size 36. 
it was worn. It did have some wear to it, um, but it was just this really cool Western style bell, belt, and it sold for $18.50. And I did pull, lay it out and put the measurements on it because sometimes these vintage belts, they can shrink or they can stretch out. I put a size 36. That was my best guesstimate. The buckle shows tarnish and the leather shows patina and normal vintage general wear but it's in good condition. So you always want to make sure that you put any condition issues that it may have in your listing. The next item is a Pier 1 Imports Le Bien Teardrop Shaped Angel Christmas Glass Ornament. I picked these up while we were on vacation over the summer in, at a Goodwill in Michigan. Uh, and I've sold two of them. I think I have one more left. Um, picked them up. I think they were $1.99 or $2 at Goodwill. Sold them for this one for $18.04 and the buyer paid shipping. These are really beautiful. They are collectible. They're hand painted piece, pieces. Uh, Pier 1 comes out with them every year. This one was from 2016. The next item is a Majestic Atomic Bakelite Condenser in the original box. This was just a cool piece. I actually, this was not in my Five Things Friday, but I did have this at the shop and I thought, I'm going to put that online. It was just a really, had a really cool shape to it with this original label here. Um, it was made in Detroit, Michigan. I just, I thought, it had the original box, so I thought, I'm going to try it online. I, it was very lightweight. I did ship it for free, and it sold for $24.50. This top, The top on it of this little piece, let me click on it again, right here, the top right here was made from Bakelite, so it was just a really cool piece. These vintage car parts are, are really good if you can find them. This next item is a Disney Descendant, Descendants Evie doll, Isle of the Lost. This, I sold it, the buyer never paid, um, and I sold it again, and the buyer paid immediately. So this one sold for $14.50. This doll, and I, I, this was in my what sold video before because I had sold it and the buyer never paid, so I sold it again. But again, it's in excellent condition. It's never been played with. It has all the accessories, and even the rubber bands were still wrapped around the bracelets on the arms to keep them on. Um, the, the, the boy dolls that I had sold, sold for quicker and for a little bit more money. Uh, but she was in that lot. I got the lot of three, two boy dolls and a girl doll for $2.50 at Goodwill. This next item, oh my gosh, you can tell I've had this forever because look at the background. It's a brick background, which was my old background that I used to use on clothing. So I've had this for probably two years. Finally sold it. It was an Abercrombie and Fitch uh, women's sweater. It was a wool blend, black and white. It was a cute sweater. Uh, and it was brand new with tags and so finally sold for $25. I did do free shipping on it because I had it forever. <laughs> I was just ready to get rid of it. And you know, it shipped for in a padded flat rate envelope. So I still made profit. I don't even remember where I bought this from. Um, but it was either at the bins or at Goodwill. If I bought it at Goodwill, then I paid $4.50 for it. So I still made a profit. This I'm waiting for it to be for the buyer to pay. Um, and there's already been an unpaid buyer case open against them, but hopefully they'll pay because it's a Bible. I mean, <laughs> buy your Bible. You bought a Bible, buy it, buy your Bible. Anyway, this was a vintage 1973, the way illustrated living Bible, Bible by Tyndale Publishing. This was really cool. The pictures in it were just very mod and I don't know, it just had a, I like the way that it felt. It had a good feel to it. Um, some of the pages were highlighted in. It did have an inscription in it. Uh, it sold pretty quick after I listed it, but they haven't paid yet, so I'm waiting on them to pay. But next item is this Lucky Brand Men's Too Tough to Beat Roulette Wheel t-shirt. Black. Um, Vegas. Oh, I put Vegas in it because of the roulette, roulette wheel. Nowhere on the shirt does it say Vegas. But it's just kind of an adjective to describe it because it was like a Vegas looking shirt. Like you would wear it if you went to Vegas. Anyway, sold for $15 and it was free shipping. This next item, I've had a couple of these and this was the last one that I had left. And they were these Grateful Dead Beanie Bears, Beanie Baby Bears. This was Irie. They were made by Liquid Blue. Uh, and like the birthday, I guess, was 326.88, Made by Hampton Coliseum. Still had the tag on it. They were in great condition. 
there's the yeah there's you can see where it says that the birthday um, and this has a little bit of a, a tour memory these are collectible I think I probably paid 99 cents for it did sell for nine dollars and 89 cents in the buyer paid shipping this next item is a cute little vintage Hallmark 1991 baby's first Christmas I got a big lot of Hallmark ornaments at Goodwill for 250 uh, and I know that the babies first or the hour first or those kind of commemorative ones do sell better But I do I just I got the whole bag. I listed all of them. I am selling them readily You're gonna see another one here in just a, a few moments But this one did sell for $14.99 and the buy and it was free shipping and this next one was a 1987 10 metal train locomotive. This is a number one number six in a series series uh, ornaments do tend to sell better too uh, if they're you know, in a series, people are wanting to get the one that they're missing. And this one sold for $12.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, I got all of these in a big grab bag at Goodwill for $2.99. So it's worth taking the pictures and getting them online. You can see here this one's dated Hallmark Cards Incorporated, 1987. Um, just short and sweet and away it goes to its new home. Okay, so I mean I sold some things, but it wasn't a banner week by any way, shape, or form. Um, the but but sales were excellent this weekend at the shop. So there's at least that the sales of the shop have been down a little bit. The summer months and the really the beginning of fall is typically a slow time of year. A lot of people are out doing the festivals and they're out, you know, kind of tying up loose ends as far as getting their things prepared for the winter and business is typically kind of slow. So business at the shop, probably um, sales probably were, I think that were, they were up like 75%. So there's at least that. So all of my hard work this week was not for nothing, but my eBay sales were not good. And that's what this video is all about. That's what you came here for, right? To see what my eBay sales are. Not me rambling on about things that you don't care about. Okay, let's continue. All right, my eBay sales for the week were $571.37. Yeah, I know that's not great. Um, sales were down 20.4%, and I but I did sell 21 items. So at least there's that. At least I got 21 items out of my home and in to their new owner's home houses arms they're, they're off to their new owners all right in poshmark you know what poshmark and mercari i i mean i put a little bit of effort into ebay poshmark and mercari i had no i put no effort into none absolutely none whatsoever zilch not a nothing i had one sale on poshmark one sale and i made three dollars and five cents so there's that at mercari i sold nothing so there's that so my total sales on my online sales were 574 dollars and 42 cents sold 22 items now that's my gross sales uh that's not counting my taxes my insurance taxes and insurance do we pay insurance on ebay i don't think so that is not included my fees and my taxes and my cost of goods so it wasn't that great of a week, but that's okay because we're positive, right? We're positive people here, right? We see on the bright side and the bright side is that I have seen that a lot of people sales have been picking up. So that's a great thing. Maybe eBay's gotten its act together and fourth quarter is going to be good. And we're going to be positive, right? That's what we do on this channel. We're positive. We're positive people. So Next week, well, let me just tell you, I'm hoping that my sales are going to be up next week because my darling husband took 1,100 pictures for me yesterday. 1,100 pictures. He spent the whole weekend taking pictures for me. And I love him. I love him. And I have a lot of work to do. So I will be listing all week. I, I have no plans. I, I am going to go to the shop for a little bit, just a little bit to just kind of clean and get things ready for the weekend. But the majority of my week is going to be nonstop listing on eBay. And we will see if that improves my 
sales. And it should because you got to give eBay some attention. That's just the way it works. And I am going to cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And we'll see. We'll see how next week goes, shall we? All right. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow. And leave me a comment. Let me know how your sales were doing this week. If your sales were up or down, I'm always kind of curious about that. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do. Oh, but before I forget, I am working on an update on my watch sold. That video is going to be up this week. I'm working on it. I'm a little behind because I kind of put it off and now I've got a lot to get caught up on. So I'm working on that update on my five things Friday at Wildflower Antiques. So be looking out for that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.